Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. I have a little bit of a haul to show you guys um, some items that I picked up while my daughter was off on spring break at a Goodwill that we went to and also from a rummage sale that I went to on f this past Friday which was April 8th. Um, other than that I really haven't done any shopping for anything. The garage sales still haven't picked up yet and it's just been really crazy busy around here. I had spring break so my daughter was off for 10 days and then Easter and then my husband and I celebrated our 13th wedding anniversary um, which we joked was lucky number 13 but uh, in Italian the number 13 is lucky so fingers crossed <laughs> because every year even though our, our marriage is fantastic it's just you know everything around us like the house you know there's always something with a house or something unexpected that we have to pay for it just it never ends um, and then I had the consignment sale that I had to get ready for which is a huge job um, I do this sale twice a year and sell my daughter's old clothes and toys and some odds and ends that I pick up also at, at sales and um, I had 264 items that I had to get in the computer system system prepped tagged packed in my car take up to the sale drop them off uh, work two shifts uh, to increase my um, percentage that I get back in the end and um, and then shop the sale so last week was very very busy but I did end up making I think four times what I spent on my daughter in clothing so I'm very happy about that it's great to get a free wardrobe and a profit on top of it uh, which is also good because eBay has still been extremely slow it is driving me crazy I don't know where the buyers are but they're not looking in my store so I'm gonna show you guys the haul plus um, the few things that did sell this past weekend that I got to get shipped out today I sold another one of these cryograph uh, boxes of crayons I bought these in the summer I bought a set of 12 boxes I think it was $14 at a little uh, thrift store is a little overpriced thrift store but I bought the 14 boxes or the 12 boxes for $14 and I've been <clears throat> selling them for eight dollars a piece <clears throat> sorry with free shipping and this I believe is the fifth box to sell so I'm definitely making a profit on them you know not a killer profit but it's something I sold this copy of Doc McStuffins for $7.99 with free shipping this was something that I was going to put in the consignment sale, but then I looked it up on eBay first because I know this is a very popular show right now. And this was actually selling better on eBay than, um, you know, I would have done better on eBay than the consignment sale. So I put this up and sold it within, I think, a couple hours. But $8 of free shipping is around the max price you're going to get on that. And then I sold this. This is a rainbow. Rainbow is the company. <coughs> God, what's wrong with my throat? Um, Rainbow Art Glass is the company, and this is a mod uh, style owl paperweight that they made, uh, I think, back in the 60s or 70s. Sold this for $16.99 with free shipping. This will go in a, a flat rate padded envelope. So I only made about 10 on that. And the other two things I'll show you as I go through my haul because they were actually haul items that have already sold. So I'm going to start with the items from the Goodwill that my daughter and I went to. She was so thrilled to go to a Goodwill with me. But I had taken her to a mall in another town uh, that we don't usually go to because our mall's a little too foofy and the weather was kind of eh and she just wanted to go somewhere and there happened to be a Goodwill there. So I said if I'm driving all the way out here to take you to the mall, we're going to go to Goodwill. So the first thing I bought, I believe this was $3. This is an Oklahoma State Cowboys uh, Pistol Pete Rain Poncho from Jiffy. I don't really know why I bought it. I just, I think I bought it because I knew it was vintage and it was brand new in the package and figured somebody down the road will buy it. Maybe not until, um, you know, closer to the start of the school year next year, but hopefully that I'll sell at some point. I bought this Polish stoneware creamer. This is 
um, the most common name you'll find on the bottom of these, and I can't really pronounce it, but Leslawick, I don't know if that's how you're supposed to say it. But I've sold a lot of these pieces in the past, never had a problem selling them. I think I spent two on this, maybe three. Uh, might be able to get about 10 to 12 out of that. Then I bought this Jerry Garcia tie. I bought a lot of Jerry Garcia ties in the past. Sold some of them individually. I have probably a dozen or more downstairs that haven't sold individually. I'm going to lot those together uh, probably this week and sell those. They do sell well as a lot. But this one was really unique because I'd never seen one with an actual sketch. I'd just seen kind of, you know, abstract designs. And this was um, a reproduction of a sketch that he did um, where he was dreaming about playing with two other artists and I can't remember their names off the top of my head but it is in my listing. This is from the Race Record Dream Line and it says Pen and Ink Collection Artist Proof Number 2. I can't find any other tie like this on eBay or anywhere else online. So, I'm hoping that's a good thing. It's up at auction right now. One person's watching it. So, keep our fingers crossed. We'll see. But, you know, if nobody, if there's no fights over it, I think I have it up for $16.99 free shipping. So, nothing crazy. And then last but not least, oh, I paid two for that, by the way. Last but not least is this guy. Uh. <laughs> Creepy. Um, but I bought it because it's a very unusual coffee mug. It's from Cordon Bleu, and it says here, face mug set of two orange and yellow. So originally, obviously, they came in a set of two. You're supposed to put your beverage of choice up top, and then down the bottom, you can either put your used tea bag, your cookies, or other treats, whatever you want. Um, and I hope he sells quickly, because he really creeps me out. But faces in general creep me out. I'm not a person that likes art with a lot of faces or um, I know a lot of people, the crafty people who <laughs> do a lot of art journaling, they do a lot of faces and stuff like that. No, that is just not me at all. And masks. I hate masks. They scare me to death. I always joke with my husband that if he ever wants a quickie divorce, all he needs to do is put on a hockey mask like Michael Myers from Halloween and jump out at me from around a corner and we're done because I'm either divorcing him or my heart is exploded and I'm dead one or the other okay moving on that was it from the consignment sale so now I'm going to show you guys everything from the rummage sale I went to Friday this is a sale that I've gone to twice before I've gone to their fall sale I never knew they had a spring sale until this past week um, did okay. I've done better there. But uh, I spent 15 bucks, which is funny because they give you this whole detailed price list with how everything, how much everything costs. And then if you get up there and you have a mountain of stuff, they just kind of look at it and go, eh. <laughs> so they asked me for 15 bucks and that was it. So everything you're going to see was approximately a dollar or less. So first up is this. Um, this set of makeup from Bare Essentials. This is their Bronze Goddess line. There's this product, which kind of looks like a compressed rock of powder, which I've never seen before. Um, a bronzer, and then there's another, this is called Faux Tan, and then there's a little brush and instructions. And um, I've gotten comments before about how me handling plastic bags is annoying. I'm sorry you guys if that's annoying to you I can't do anything about it I have to show you guys the stuff you guys want to see the stuff and sometimes it's new and it comes in a plastic bag and I don't have any special sound equipment or editing stuff and I, if I did I don't even know how to use it so I apologize if it annoys you please mute me fast forward do whatever you have to do um, this is the one embroidery set I got. This is called Lemonade Sampler from Needles and Hoops. And you can see this whole family is running out of the house. This is a lemonade stand. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Might make about 10 on that. Might make about 10 to 12 on the Bare Essentials also. Then I got this little postcard 
Folio Top of the World Official Folder. This is from I don't know, around early 1900s, like 1913, so it's over 100 years old. And it has all these double-sided panels of pictures from throughout the Rockies and Colorado. There's supposed to be 11 panels in here. There's only 10 because one was cut out, but, you know, we'll see how we do on that. I got this City of Atlantic City key. I believe this is just like a souvenir that you could buy. I'm not really sure. But I looked it up and the mayor at the time was Richard S. Jackson. He was the mayor from 1967 to 1969. So this is almost 50 years old. I saw, saw one just like this sell recently for $40. So that's what I listed it for at auction. So we'll see what happens with that. I got this set of butterfly magnets. These are Cavallini and Company magnets. They're a very high-end, like stationary company. They do um, magnets, gift tags, um, rubber stamps. I believe they do stationary. A whole bunch of different products. And this was sealed in plastic. I took a picture of it sealed in the plastic, but then I took the plastic off so that I could take pictures of every individual magnet because each one was different. I don't know if that was a good move or a bad move, but I like to see what I'm buying. Uh, that I might make about 10 to 15 on, hopefully. I got this Hewlett Packard calculator. This is a 12C financial calculator. I was able to figure out when it was manufactured. There's a serial number up here. I'm not going to go into it now, but basically I figured out it was made I think in 1993, like the 18th week of 1993. Found some obscure website that tells you how to figure out the serial numbers. Works great. Probably make about 20 on that. Then I got this old metal print block. This says Miro, uh, the finest aluminum. It's an advertise advertisement for cookware. Don't know how old it is. But sometimes these things can sell pretty well. Depends on the subject matter, so I don't know. Maybe maybe 10, maybe more, depending on if a bunch of people want it. I got some Avon makeup, and I know I always say I stay away from Avon, but if it's makeup and it's sealed or brand new and you can't get it anymore and it's cheap enough, then I'll usually take a chance. This is a split-second blush stick in Tropical Peach. Um, all sealed up, should make maybe about 10 on that. And same with these. These are Ideal Flawless Matte Mousse Foundations and they are brand new without the box. And then from Creative Memories, I found this Memory Keeper stationery set, which is complete except it doesn't have the gold and silver pens that are supposed to come with it. Like I said, paid less than a dollar hopefully make maybe 10 on that. Then I got one book there. This is the works of Lewis Carroll complete and unabridged from Longmeadow Press. Um, bonded leather cover really nice. The only bad thing I noticed once I got home was that somebody had torn this first page before the title page out. Hoping that's not too much of an issue and hoping you get at least 20 on that. Then, uh, oh, from the consignment sale, I did buy one thing there. I usually look for things to resell at the consignment sale, but um, this was the only thing that I found. I got this Stampin' Up! set, brand spanking new in the package, for $3. It's called Christmas Cardinal, and sold it today for uh, $30 with free shipping. So happy about that and another thing that sold this was something I got at the church rummage sale I got two of these 8 by 10 page protectors from creative memories I said less than a dollar um, for the both of them and sold these for $24.99 with free shipping um, these both went together and a couple more things and then I'm done I got this punch. This is a Levenger Circa Punch. It punches these 
strange little holes here and then you take these discs and you can actually bind your paper with these discs. They come in all different sizes. Um, the discs usually don't come with it, but they did this time around. Um, the punch, it's heavy. It weighs almost four pounds. This is a heavy duty sucker. Uh, all steel construction, really nice. And worth about, I think I put 40 with free shipping because it's gonna fit in a flat rate, medium flat rate box. So it should make about 25 on that. And last but not least is this little gizmo, which I saw while I was standing in line. This is called the Posture Pump Disc Hydrator. This one's for your neck. I'm going to turn this over so you guys can see. There's all different models of this. This is the one that I got. And then there's one. One's for your back. There's this big one down here. This is the 4100, then this is the 6100 down here. These can go for a lot of money. This one, the model that I got, model 1000, on Amazon, brand new, I think they want $149 for these things. Um, I could probably get about 50 for this, but I'm probably gonna keep it right now because <laughs> it actually does help my neck. I was testing it out to make sure it worked, and it really does help my neck, especially at the end of the day when I've been working on the computer and stuff and it's stiff, it does help a lot. So that might be living with me for a little while. And I think that's pretty much it. Oh, I bought these note cards. These are from Punch Studio. I don't know who is ringing my doorbell. Um, but I'm going to actually sell another set that I got and keep those because these do sell pretty well. And then I got this Stampin' Up! stamp. And now I have to go answer the door. So thanks for watching everyone, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.